Hello, everybody. How's all it right. going out there? <laughs> That's all we can get for noon on the first day? Come on, let's bring people over here. Get people pumped. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, MetaCloud crew over there. Send some people over here. <laughs> Sean right, and I hey, want to talk to a full house <laughs> and not people eating lunch. All right, thanks, everyone. Uh, I'm Sean Lynch with Feedback. Sean, Don't touch your mic. Yeah. Sean Lynch, uh, CEO, co-founder at MetaCloud. It's Alan Waldman, our head of product. Um, today, we're going to talk to you about a new take on hybrid cloud. You heard uh, a lot of talk this morning about OpenStack interoperability, kind of you know, how you make sure you have a consistent working environment, both on-prem and off-prem. And uh, we're going to talk about our take on that, because OpenStack does quite a lot. But when you're looking at a full end-to-end -end distribution like MetaClouds, uh, there's a lot that we're doing that is extended upon OpenStack verbatim, right? So we're doing things like you know, VXLAN, Ceph distributed block storage, um, a, a, a pretty enhanced and extended Dash and UI. So when you look at that other stuff, we need to make sure all of that is extended too between both your on-prem and, and hosted environment. So we'll be talking about that today. So uh, OpenStack is a service. At, in a nutshell, this is what MetaCloud does. MetaCloud delivers OpenStack where you just consume it. As you heard Disney mention this morning, um, they, they've been using MetaCloud for about three years now. And, and I think Chris mentioned, you know, it was just an immediate turn up from the, for them. They went, you know, one month dev QA right into production. And that's, if you're delivering OpenStack as a service, it really enables you to do that. So we overlay OpenStack on your bare metal in your data center. That's our on-prem product, which we'll talk about in, in, in a bit here. And we operate the whole thing end to end, which is pretty different relative to some of the other models for delivering OpenStack in the marketplace. I want to go to the next. So I'm going to talk a little bit about MetaCloud on-prem. Uh, MetaCloud on-prem is uh, a product that we've been running. It was our first flagship product. Uh, it's been in production for over three years. It's an integrated compute storage networking and identity solution that's built completely on OpenStack, uh, backed by uh, Ceph, as well as uh, we support Cinder, you know, NFS, uh, pretty much any storage platform you have uh, already existing in your data center, we integrate with it. One of the, the, the key things that we tried to build was the, the platform was uh, dedicated, or not really dedicated, but, but focused towards enterprise customers. So things like uh, integrating with AD or LDAP, um, all the things that you'd expect from an enterprise environment. Um, the other thing we did is really make the platform highly available. So full HA for every single service and core service that runs on the platform, um, networking to Glance to Nova uh, Net to Compute, Nova Compute. Um, all of those things are really highly available, which really makes our platform really unique. And as Sean mentioned, because we deliver it as a service, uh, we could structure some really great SLAs around that uptime. Um, even though we are delivering as a service, it's super flexible. Um, and the idea is that we build this platform um, and deliver that from a kind of SaaS style delivery software delivery model, but we work with our teams to really kind of customize and configure the platform so it suits their needs. So I mentioned storage before, but we have multiple network uh, solutions where we can either use our controller tiers or use upstream hardware gateways and do interesting things by integrating VXLAN into the platform. Um, a lot of really interesting things that we can do to really make the platform you know, really work well for these enterprise when customers. You, if you don't mind, when you're, when you're deploying OpenStack as a service and you're managing a large network of private clouds, one of the unique abilities that this allows you to do is push out major software upgrades in a way where your customers don't actually have to deal with the intricacies of that work. So our clients, for instance, have moved from OpenStack, Cactus, Diablo, Essex, Folsom, Grizzly, Havana, and they actually haven't had to do anything. They just log into their self-service dashboard and they see, wow, MetaCloud pushed out new enhancements, you know, I have all this new functionality. So it is, when we say OpenStack is a service, or we call, when we call it a SaaS-delivered private cloud, it really is that experience, but on your bare metal. So and as Sean, I think, mentioned, uh, we're hardware agnostic. It is a software platform. We pretty much run on any x86 platform in your data center, and we work with almost every single switch network on the planet. So in February, we announced a new product uh, called MetaCloud Hosted. 
This is the same MetaCloud OpenStack, kind of OpenStack as a service platform offering, but it's hosted by MetaCloud. Um, what we saw in the industry was people were coming to us and our existing on-prem customers as well as folks who are in you know, other cloud platforms saying, hey, guys, we need you to deliver something where, uh, that's more turnkey. We don't want to buy the hardware. We don't want to go do data centers. Um, but we want a private cloud. We want all the great things that you could do in a private cloud. And we said, OK, great. We can do that. So with MetaCloud hosted, you get a dedicated multi-tenant private cloud platform. All of the infrastructure is dedicated to you. Um, the, the starter package um, comes with uh, 160 cores um, and about 35 terabytes of uh, distributed block storage, a full 10 gig networking, and uh, you know, diverse internet uh, providers, and it's worldwide. So we have five locations. There's three in the United States, uh, one in Europe, and one in Asia. Uh, Singapore, Europe is Amsterdam. Uh, and we'll soon have a couple of more. The great thing about this platform is you, know, you use it in the same way that you use the public cloud. Um, it's an OpEx pricing model. You just buy what you need, um, use it when you need it, and when you're done, you turn it off. Um, it's a really great platform because it gives you the same, it gives you the same experience that you get with the on-prem uh, on product as well. Um, so we're really excited about this product. Again, we launched it in, um, in late February, early March. And we're just getting it. Uh, we're just getting it rolling. What's so, that? So the difference is in our distribution. We're we have a, a, a few things that I, I think set us apart. Right? You have we're using CoroSync and PaceMaker for a horizontally scalable uh, front end to every single availability zone. I I don't believe you asked about Rackspace. I don't think Rackspace actually takes every single orchestration and cloud component and wraps it in a horiz horizontally scalable quorum layer. Right? So our availability zones do scale. Um, we've also integrated with Ceph. So every time you add a new compute node, you get horizontal block storage, both in the on-prem and in the hosted model. I don't think the Rackspace offering does either of those. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe it does. OK. So one of the things that we wanted to talk about was you know, how MetaCloud thinks about hybrid, hybrid cloud. Um, as you heard this morning, um, there was a lot of talk about what does hybrid cloud really mean and how do we deliver that you know, to the customers. And I think you know, we have a pretty interesting take on you know, what the hybrid cloud model really is. Yeah, so in typical hybrid setups, as you guys are well aware, you might have some VMware on-prem, some OpenStack on-prem, maybe some cloud stack. Maybe you're using on the public side EC2 or Rackspace or Azure, and it's sort of this piece together convoluted thing, right? I mean, even if you're using OpenStack on both sides, I would argue it's beneficial to use the same OpenStack distribution on both sides if you're leveraging more than OpenStack core, um, as is the case with an offering like ours. So, you know, we're really going after this, this truly consistent experience, not just from an API level, or from a from a you know dashboard or functionality level, but also everything you build around a distribution like this, um, we're trying to make sure that that is consistent too. Even down to the support, you call the same support team for both. So let's talk a little bit about what it means to be kind of a meta cloud hybrid cloud. So let's say you're a you know medium or large size enterprise. You've deployed a lot of capital in your own data centers. Um, you. You know, you need a, a DR strategy, or you have a very bursting applications. You may have heard uh, the folks on stage mentioned uh, mention us. Disney mentioned us. You know, they have uh, interesting applications where they might need bursting, for example. And um, you know, you can push you can push the products so you can basically leverage our on-premise product for all your existing capital. And if you need a DR capabilities or you need geo uh, geolocation. Uh, of your of your cloud because we can do this worldwide, you kind of get it, and it's the same exact platform as what you get with on-prem. One thing, it, the the combined volume pr pricing uh, piece is particularly interesting. Interesting, because I don't think anyone else does this in the market, and that's you know MetaCloud. You, you just pay a nominal per physical socket subscription fee for our on-prem solution. As the hosted solution scales, and you're utilizing more cores and more sockets you get to leverage the aggregate of both hosted and on-prem to drive further volume-based discounts. 
And that's really unique. I don't think actually anyone else does anything similar to that, where as you use more of one, the other becomes less expensive. So that's our take on what we're doing in the hybrid cloud space. We think it's really unique in the industry. Um, we don't see anybody offering OpenStack as a service both inside of somebody's data center or outside the data center in a full, you know, fully kind of traditional hosting kind of way. Um, I think we're happy to, to open it up and take any questions you have and uh, appreciate the time. Yep. Any questions out there? No? Yeah. Yeah, so what is, what's proprietary, what's open source? Um, so we're a big contributor back to OpenStack. We're a top 20 contributor to, to OpenStack. Um, as you might imagine, when you're running many private clouds in a very large network on very diverse, heterogeneous hardware configurations, we're amongst the first to see you know, stability or performance related issues with OpenStack. So if we see, for instance, one of our clients is running uh, Cisco UCS actually on MetaCloud at large scale, if we see a, a, the combination of that platform with ours result in some sort of issue and we see that another client might be trending toward a similar issue, we can take proact proactive action. And it really allows us to do sort of collaborative um, monitoring of things. But, but I think to answer your specific question, what's OpenStack, what isn't, um, we're, we're, when it comes to stability or performance, we're contributing back very actively. Um, the product level features that I think differentiate us as far as our dashboard is pretty different than anything else out there. It's a dashboard that really lends itself to managing large quantities of compute efficiently. Um, we don't really, we've ripped out a lot of pagination out of, out of Horizon. We've added graphite to Horizon. We've made it a little more visually appealing. Um, that stuff is, stays with, with, with MetaCloud or with our distribution. Uh, our VXLAN work, which we've taken all the layer two networking semantics and pushed it up to layer three, so you get highly optimized east-west ba east -west bandwidth and big data workloads. That work is, is, is more MetaCloud proprietary. Um, I th lastly, the, the Ceph integration, um, you know, horizontal block storage as you add compute nodes and our HA work. So that stuff is pretty unique to MetaCloud service, but when it comes to just steer, sheer stability, security, performance, that stuff is actively being contributed back up. All right, thanks, no more questions. Thanks everyone, appreciate the time.